Welcome to the video on HTML and CSS links and how to create them. And then we're going to get into how to stylize them. So when you're creating a link, it is going to require that you understand at first what a link or hyperlink is and how it works, how to define one in HTML and then how to stylize it. And that there are four states to a hyperlink, which means that there's four different ways that a hyperlink can interact with the user or the user can interact with it. So for instance, when you search for something on Google and it comes up with all the results, all of those words that are blue and underlined are hyperlinks. And when they're not hovered and they haven't been visited before, they're usually blue and underlined. And then once you hover over them, they change. And once you've visited them, they usually turn purple. So we're gonna go ahead and test that out in here and kind of show you the states so that you can see what those are. To start off, hyperlinks are links that are found nearly every web page has them. Um, links make it so that the user can click their way from one page to the next. Um, it doesn't have to be a word either. It can be an image or a video or whatever it can be to take you where you need to go. Um, in HTML, they're called hyperlinks and you can even like download files with a hyperlink. Um, and when you move your mouse over a link, usually your cursor turns into a little hand or a little butt, like finger pointing upward. So you've used links a lot. You just never knew how to actually make one. So to go back to what we covered in our last lesson, we created this layout um, and we actually have more on this layout than what is shown here. We have this turned into a list and another list right here. And so we're gonna go ahead and start editing those and we're gonna actually make these three um, words into links that take you to different websites. So to start off, you're going to think about how to create that link around a word. So if I search on a Google search, um, you can see that like for here, it's blue with no underline and here it's purple because I've already gone here. And those are two states to a link. So this is a um, unvisited link and this is a visited link. And you can even go to images and click on images and you can see like I hovered over this image for this um, screenshot and that's the URL that it would take me to. To do this, you have to tell the computer and the browser, where does the link start and stop? So for instance, let's focus right here on where it says Google search. The link begins at the word Google and ends at the end of the word search because you can see that the text right below that is not a link. It's just text you would read. So you have to signify where the text or where the link starts and where it ends. Over here, it would be the image, before the image and after it. So this is gonna be a container tag and you're gonna begin with A. A stands for anchor and it's like you're creating an anchor to, um, of a link to another document or location. So you're anchoring it so that the user knows where to click and how to get to that new location. So in this case right here, the A tag would open before the words Google search, contain the words Google search, and then close after the words Google search. When creating an anchor tag, you have the text or the image or whatever the user is clicking right here in between the opening and the closing tag. But then you've got to tell the computer and internet browser, well, where does that link go? So the anchor tag can't just exist on its own. It has to tell it where to go. And that's where href comes in. Href stands for hyperlink reference because it's a reference for the hyperlink. It's where it's going. And it's important to note that the href is in the opening tag, but not the closing tag, just like all other attributes. You also need to make sure that you tell it where it's equal to. So equal to and then quotation marks. And then this is where you would put your URL of where it's sending you or the file that they need to download. So this is an example of a real link. Um, the text that the user would click on is visit our HTML tutorial. You can see it's blue underlined. And if I was on the web, I could hover over it and my mouse would turn into a cursor um, for a hand. Here to create that, you've got the text that the user sees, and then you've got the ahref before it and the a tag closing after it. 
So we're going to go ahead and practice creating some hyperlinks on our page that we had from our previous lesson. So go ahead and go to CodePen where you've got your cities page, you've got London, Paris, and Tokyo over here on the left, and then you've got your um, bulleted list here in the article. We're going to go first to the word London. So on the word London, we're going to make it a link. We still want this to be a list item. And because it's a list item, we're going to list these in what's called a nesting order. So if you think about like Russian nesting dolls, where you put the little tiny baby inside of the next size up, inside of the next size up, you've got to close and open in the same order. So I've opened my link item or my list item tag and closed it. And I'm going to put the link inside of there around the word London. So my A tag is going to close or open before the word London close after the word London and be within this list item. Just like when I create a header, I open and close my heading one inside of it, nesting it inside of the header. And you can see I can collapse the header and know that the head H1 is nested inside of it. So I'm gonna go to my London, ta or my London text and I'm gonna put an A tag before it. And so I don't forget, I'm gonna put close the A tag after it. And you'll see that nothing will really happen on your screen because you haven't told it where to go yet. And we're gonna go ahead and take it to a website um, where, for London. So if I go to visitlondon.com, here's what it looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and link to visitlondon.com and you want the full address. So this is not the full URL at this point. There's actually pieces before this and it's just showing a shortened version. Every URL begins with HTTPS colon slash slash www dot and then takes you wherever you need to go. Sometimes it's just HTTP and sometimes it's HTTPS. So um, you've got those options, but if you go up to this URL and if you've gone to visit London.com, you can copy it and you'll see that when you go over here and we go into the A opening tag to tell the computer what to reference, we're going to type href equals and quotation marks and then inside of the href we're going to paste that link and you'll see the full link of https colon slash slash www.bizandleaden.com appears and it's even got the slash at the end of it and now you can see london for me is purple and underlined for you it's probably blue because you haven't gone there before but i've gone there before so it could be it's purple for me i think it's important to note that if i go to like Google and I search for London, you'll see that all of my links are blue. And when I hover over them, they get an underline. If I've gone to them like this one, they're purple. Um, and when you click on them, that's the last state. So you've got the state of I've never been to you. This is the first time I've ever seen this website link. I've got the state of hovering over it. My cursor's over this link and I'm ready to visit it. I've got the state of I've already been there, so it's gonna look different. And then you've got that last state of what happens right when you click it. And most websites don't really show anything when you click it, but that's the fourth state. And you can make links look a lot different. And we're gonna go into that in just a little bit. So what I challenge you to do is I challenge you to take this and create links for Paris and Tokyo where the Paris link goes to en.parisinfo.com for, for Welcome to Paris. That's en.parisinfo.com. And then also to Tokyo's website of gotokyo.org. And you don't need the rest of this. Um, you can just do gotokyo.org and that should be good enough for here. So pause the video here and add those links in. All right, so to do this, I'm gonna go ahead and create an A tag around each of these just to get myself started. And then I'm gonna go in here and set an href equal to, and I'm gonna grab the en.parisinfo.com. I'm gonna to go to the same thing for Tokyo and copy that link as well and bring that over. Now you can see all three of them are links at that point. I'm gonna go ahead and save this and I want you to test one of them. So when I test it, I can click on Tokyo for instance, or London. So I'm gonna click on London 
And you'll see that it will actually display Visit London here in the page. And of course, we've got the coronavirus update. What's important to note is to get back to that, you have to refresh your whole code pen. So it's really important that you had saved it before this point. So that's how you can create a link. It's pretty simple. You can create links around pictures, um, anything you want to, and make it a clickable link. In the next lesson, we're gonna talk about how do you stylize that? How do you make it look different? Um, and how do you control those four different states?